most Microsoft Forms users are missing out on this new and powerful feature. Here's the thing. Pre-filling form isn't just about saving time. It's about eliminating errors and building a more dynamic forms. In this video, I'm going to show you three innovative ways to transform how you use forms. Let's get started. The pre-fill options in Microsoft Form can be very handful in many occasions. I'm going to be walking you through three use cases and let's just get to work. Our use case is going to be a training feedback. So I'm going to start with a feedback form. I will draft my response with Copilot. This is amazing. It's a new feature. Here's a short prompt that I'm going to be giving to Copilot just to help me create this form. Let's see how well it's going to do. Awesome. Let's check this out. We appreciate your feedback on the Sankofa Bazaar. Please take a few moments to complete this survey. Name of event. Yes, I want that. Event date. How likely are you to recommend this event? Yeah, like our scale. Good. What did you love most about the event? Rank. One, two, three, four. I think this is, this is cool. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. So let's keep this. Wow. This is exactly what I want. <laughs> this, isn't it amazing? Thanks to Copilot. Just before we use the preview feature, let me share this with you. In the past, at Sankova Bazaar, for every event we organize, we often send out the same form. We only edit the event name for each of those forms. That looks like a manual and unnecessary work every time. Beside that, each of those data goes to that form. Even though it's the same form that we're just duplicating and editing the event name, uh, just represent the form, but the data are stored in different places. Let's use the prefill to actually solve this challenge. Navigate to the top right, click on get prefill URL. You have to enable this first. And in this case, for me, I just have to put the event name. I will prefill it because I'm only sending this to you for this event. And every time I'm sending this URL, I will prefill the event. That way you don't need to even bother yourself to fill in the event name. And I want to collect the details. So this is going to be African Night. Sankova Bazaar is a fictional company that I sort of run to demonstrate use cases. And we promote African cultures, attires and food, you know, music. So we host events as well. And so one of our African Night events, and when was this? Let's just pick a date. This happened in December. Uh, towards the end of the year, so December 28. I have pre-filled these two features, you know, African Night, I'm done here. And I just need the person to actually rank what they enjoy most and then how likely are they going to recommend this to a friend or colleague. I'm okay. So what I'm going to do now is get pre fill link. I'm going to copy the link. But just before I do that, if you study what is happening here, for this link, it has appended the responses are pre-selected. It has appended them to the link. So even though you might not need to go into details of the URL, but that's what happened here. I'm going to click on copy and that is it. Now that we have the prefill link, you also need to make sure that when you are collecting responses, anyone can respond. Otherwise, it's only people within your organization that will be able to fill the form. So now I've selected anyone can respond. I'm going to open it in private window and then paste the link. And right here, do you see the name of the event is already there? The event date is already there. I just need to select this. Whatsoever it is, I like the workshop, I like the food. No, it's just the food for me. First, the entertainment, the vendor, the networking opportunity, the workshop, and the vendor. I'm going to submit. Amazing. The person filling the form doesn't have to bother about the name of the event, the date, because it doesn't concern you. And also for me, who is collecting this data, because I want everything to be well structured. If I go to my responses, you could see right there, I have this result. What if it's another event? I'm going to get a new preview URL. And for this, I've named it African History Night. A couple of days ago, we had one, and I just want people to also pass feedback. The same form, what is changing is this feature. So all I have to do right here is get preview URL and click on copy link. If I go back to another in private window and paste this, I'm also going to see African History Night. This is the date the event took place. I have to rank. I'm definitely going to respond to this. Guys, I really love the workshop they did. Uh, it's not just all about food every time. Telling us about Africa and how you know, uh, people actually came up with all the innovations that they had then, despite lack of education, really means a lot. So, yeah, I always love the entertainment and the food. Yeah, the vendors, uh, it's all about networking opportunities for me. I'm going to click on submit. Let's go back to our form. 
When I go back to the form and under responses, we have two responses. This time around, one, you know, this person doesn't have to fill all these first two questions, but it's helping me to structure my information. If I open the Excel, which opened up in a new tab on and it's sync real time, I'm able to start analyzing this data. And the good thing here is you don't even have to do a lot of work analyzing this data. Copilot is also here to do that for you. In the next video, I'm going to leverage Copilot to analyze this. All right, back to our form. What if I have volunteers? This same form, I need to send it out to some volunteers and participants of my event. All I just have to do is create new questions and I'm still going to use pre-filled URL to segment the different link that goes to probably the volunteers and the one that goes to participant. Okay, so I'm going to come over here at the beginning and add new question. I'm going to make a choice. I'm going to say um, role here. I'm going to say volunteer. And then I'm going to say participant. This is fine. We are done with our branching. And now I need to get the prefill. Let's go ahead. Click here, get prefill URL. It's already turned on. You see this first session, I need to fill this. Again, this is going to be African night. Event date, that was, that happened December 28th. Role as a volunteer. I've selected volunteer. So, next, you can see it takes me right here. What feedback do you have for us? And move to next, it takes me right here to the end of the form. So I'm not filling any other thing for them. This is for volunteer. I'm just going to get pre-feed link and copy. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill and see how this work. I'm in an in private window, then I'm going to load the form. Do you see what I have here? My detail is already filled. African 9, this is the date I'm a volunteer. Okay, next. What feedback do you have for us? It was a great privilege for me to be part of the heritage next i'll likely definitely i'm going to you know recommend this click submit this is for a volunteer so how about participant i'm going to go back here i'm also going to get a prefill url so get prefill url this time around the same thing African Nights, the date, December here, and I'm a participant. When I click next, you can see it's asking me to rank, and right here is going to be the NPS score question. I'm going to get prefill link, copy. Then over to our in private window. I'm going to paste. All the details are prefilled. Move next brings me here. And of course, like as usual, this time around, I actually like the vendor. I'm going to move the vendor. I love the, those vendors, match and all those things they brought there. The entertainment, the workshop is the last networking opportunity. So click next. Oh, definitely going to recommend this. Submit. Okay. So you can see two different forms, the same form, but two different experiences, and they are still pre filled. Now, when I go back to my form, don't forget, under my responses, I can see all the responses here. And when I also open back my Excel, everything fills automatically. You can see, including the roles, the volunteer, the participant. <laughs> this is amazing. This is the second use case. When you group your information, you can actually still use pre-filled form to send to different set of people. All right, back to the last question. This is just going to be a product feedback question, and let's see how we can also apply pre-filled form feature. I'm going to click on new form, and right here, I have Copilot, amazing experience, I must confess. Keeping this simple, five questions. I'm looking for feedback on those that have recently bought something from us at Sankofa Bazaar, but I need to be a feed product name, so that I, might, I can pre-fill that feed as well. So let's generate, amazing. Product name, how satisfied are you with the product? What did you like most about the product? What improvement will you suggest for the product? Will you recommend a product to others? Yes or no? For this last question, I'm going to change it to an NPN score. I can actually change it, but let's just ask Copilot as well. See, change this to NPS. All right, product name, I'll satisfy everything is there. Yep. 
is already there. So keep it. I have my form, Sankova Bazaar Customer Feedback. I have the product name. It's cool. All we have to do is click at the top right here, get preview URL. I'm going to fill the product. So we have so many products, but the first thing to do is enable this. Then I'm going to call this. One of our product is Suya. Suya is made from meat. So I know a lot of people have, we just want to hear people's feedback about this product. So, okay, good to go. All other things I wanted to fill it themselves. So get preview link, copy. Don't forget, I need to go back to the form and also under collect responses, make sure anyone can view the form. Okay, so back to my in private window, paste the link, and here we are. You can see Suya is already here. I'll satisfy you um, this. What did you like most? It gives me memory about home. Yeah, memory about when time I eat it just remind me what improvement? More spice. Put more spice. Let it be more spice. I will recommend definitely I do recommend this room to my friend. Submit. Okay. So we are back here. Let's go to view responses. The response is already here. And it's for the exact product we want it for. So yeah. They might not know how to even pronounce it. They might not know how to even write it. Do you see that? All right, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in my next video, I will be diving deep on co-pilot experience within Microsoft Forms.